First of all, I'm going to add the video to video track one in Shotcut. Just drag and drop the video like this. Now I'm going to zoom in on the timeline using this button here. Okay, and let's play this video and find the frame that we want to freeze. Okay, let's say I want to freeze on this frame where we have a better view of the PCB layout. And to do so, first I'm going to move here to File, Export, and then Frame. Or you have a shortcut Control Shift E. Okay, now I'm going to save this frame into the downloads. And next, I'm going to click the split at playhead. So now we split the clip at the same place where we exported the frame. Now I'm going to move this second half a bit out. Open downloads here. You can do this through the open file or just manually opening the folder like this. And this is basically the frame that we've just exported. So I'm going to drag and drop this frame here into the timeline. Adjust the duration like this. Move the final part of the clip here. And now if I replay this clip, this is our frozen frame. Now there is another way to do that without exporting the frame uh, from, from the clip. What we have to do is move the playhead to the point in time, let's say this frame again. Now I'm going to zoom in as much as I can on this frame. So just use the max zoom. Now if I move the playhead, you can see that this is actually jumping through each individual frame. So what I'm going to do now here is I want to freeze this frame here. So I'm going to split the clip. Now move one frame to the right, split the clip again. Okay, so now we have three parts. So basically I split this individual frame here. Now what I'm going to do is open the properties of this uh, short frame, change the speed to zero, apply. And now if I increase the duration of this clip, so let me zoom out. I'm just zooming out from this clip and just adjusting the duration. Okay, so now if I replay this clip, as you can see, this is a second method of how you can freeze frame using shortcut without exporting uh, the frame to your PC. And that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.